Okay, so the micro Kubernetes uh, snap-ins have completed installation. I'm not on a extremely fast uh, internet connection, so it took quite a while just to to download the snaps on two of the machines. Um, okay, and then the the very next um, section of the installation is. Uh, in general, you need to be super user to, to run Kubernetes commands, but I think we want to be able to run Kubernetes, the, the, the kube control commands and the micro Kubernetes uh, commands without uh, being super user. And you basically just run the following commands. You, you do a modification on the user. So my na username is Cornell. So let me just do that. <clears throat> So we're just going to run concurrently everything. We're just going to duplicate both sides. OK. Um, and the same. Like this. Okie dokie. Just see. So the next one we need to run, I think we just need to log in as the user again. Okay. And then we should be able to run a micro Kubernetes command. Everything went well. Great stuff. Let's see if there's any nodes there. Great stuff. And then we can run the services to get the services. And it says the Kubernetes, each one is fine. OK. And then you'll see the way that we run kube control is prepended by micro kubernetes and then kube control and what we want to do is um in our uh i think is it rc.config file we just want to add uh an alias uh, for that command so that we can just type kube control okay so when we come back for the next video we're quickly going to do that uh, so I'll see you in the next video.